Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we're here at St. Clair Antique Mall in Fairview Heights, Illinois. We're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. It's crap out. There's snow and junk all over the floor. Wow, these live edge tables are so neat. $1,800 for, I'm imagining the whole set. Yeah, so there's the two side tables and then the large coffee table. Probably these are from the 80s, you think? 70s or 80s? Probably so. And the clock. $135 for the clock. Doesn't the idea of like a high tea or afternoon tea sound like really cool? That's a blue one. That's Hall. H-A-L-L -L in the royal blue. Here's another Hall with the little roses on it. Look at that. That's like a metal. Uh, I think that's a cover though. To help it insulate it. Like a genie. It's in this in this iridescent finish. Savoy Fine China. That's pretty. Oh, look at the uh, tumble up set. That's that's interesting because it actually has all these other weird. Usually you just see like one of these by your bedside. It's your lid and your cup, your tumbler. It's called tumble up usually, but this is like kind of like a drinking set. That's unique. Who did that? We don't know. So they're, they look like painted blanks. You'd get these, they'd be nothing on them, and then you'd paint them yourself. We're gonna try to put something in here. That's the idea. Ooh, I love these tumblers. That's glass. $24 set of four. This cat plate's so fun. They have $20 on it. This is of the older variety. You can see it has the ring of fire right around the edge. See that little slightly orange tinge right on the very edge there? $7. This is milk glass. That's pretty. Maybe it was like a butter dish. $7. And there would be like a dome on it. Lots of precious moments. They're all having a moment there on the shelf. And the longer burger. Hmm. I want to put something in here that's good. Let's go this way. Looks like there's a 50% off booth over here. Maybe this will be really good. Okay. So, what do we want here? What do we want? What do you see? What do you want? Now, there's this nice peacock planter. It's also, you could also hang it on the wall, like a wall pocket. That'd be $3. Because, you know, 50% off. That's really tempting. It really is. I feel like somebody should paint it, though. That could, that could be a good project. Huh. I don't know. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of boring. It has no color. And peacocks usually are full of color. This is a pretty smoke glass here. Isn't that great? It would be $4. I think it's a little bit more modern than I'd appreciate. But it has nice lines. Very mid-century looking. Now here's, oh, it's a milk glass, but the swan's head's been cut off. Don't you just hate when that happens? Or do you like it? it depends on who you are as a person, really. But I'm not going to judge either way. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, this is, now, this is California pottery. And it would be part of, like, a cigarette set for your, so you could put your ashes in there. The cigarette ashes. You could really put whatever ashes you want in there. Again, it's your house, but this is California Potter Pottery by Frazier. And then they would made they would have made like little miniature ones with the applied flowers on here too. So it was a whole set. It was a whole thing. You know, you were really somebody whenever you had that on your table. I was really hoping that was not glued to that plate because I would have I would have made fun of that. Apples and seashells do not go together. That's a tip. That is a tip. You heard it here first. So they have the anchor hawking charm pattern. Lucky, lucky. And, oh, there's the stickers on them. Now that's special. They didn't even use their berry bowls. Oh my goodness. But see, the problem is now, if you ever get this, you're going to feel like a real bad person. Because what are you going to do? Look, just never use them? You kind of have to be the first one to break them in. $12 for of the berry bowls. 
That's so sad. I mean, it's amazing, but it's sad. Literally every piece here has its sticker. I don't even know what to say about that. It's really sad. $12 for the four cups. I mean, it's perfect. It's a whole set. $15 for the bigger plates too. And the, everything is stickered. Not one sticker has been peeled. What would you do? What would you do? Oh, an ice bucket. That's not that. That is called black amethyst. Look, look here. Look, they have this diamonds inside there. And not a fun interior, but nothing's going on outside. Maybe this was painted at one point. I would not be surprised if this had some pretty, pretty flowers all over it, hand painted. And they've been washed away with time. Time will do that. It'll wash all your flowers away. Until you're left with sticks. Kind of like that. That's a really pretty pink. It's this sort of tropical bamboo corner, corner desk. That's a really interesting desk. We're going to walk right over this little, I call it a bridge. No, it's a ladder. Step over the ladder. How much is this? I'm just curious. Let's see. Five seventy-five. You know, where are you going to find this ever? And these little handles. Ooh. And then the mirror. Oh, the mirror comes with it. You know, I'm not usually a fan of painted furniture, but I think they chose a good color in this case. And... It does not look out of place. This honestly looks like something that was done in the 1960s. Like that was that was the style. Ooh, I just got like flashbacks from the Brady Bunch. Not that I was there for the Brady Bunch, but I don't know. Reminds me of Marsha. She could put her football on that shelf and look at her broken nose in the mirror. <gasps> Ooh, the green handkerchief face and that lovely is $42 there's these like bulges in there oh oh they're upside down they're candlestick holders <laughs> that's so great I, I think what we're gonna do is put one up and one down and hope for the best because I honestly don't know I thought that, that you this is like it's sticking up so what would you it's just a decoration it could be, uh, maybe it's modular. It could be both. $15. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. I don't want it though. Oh my gosh. I just love the colors in here. This is a total vibe. She has the bluebirds on hearts. Ooh, this is your Fenton in the milk glass with the aqua crest. $18 isn't too bad at all for that. Oh, and this beautiful Amberina piece for $38 back there. Oh, now this is known as a Galileo thermometer. They're very cool. And the way that they work is with the bubbles. You go by the, the bubble that's the bottom from... There's a gap here. So it's kind of harder to see in this case. But there's two bubbles up here and three bubbles down here. The bottom bubble in the top section is the temperature. So when it gets to be about around 72, this bubble will rise and then we'll say, oh, it's 72 now and so on and so forth. Eventually it gets down to, looks like 64 degrees and it can be as hot as 80 degrees. Gosh, she has one of these. I know this vendor, that's why I say she. I love these. These are these wall climbing squirrels, $18. That's about where it's at. Set back down. But yeah, you can hang that on your wall and it's scurrying up your wall the, the, that thing, that, that squirrel. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the carnival glass vases. They are Northwood in the tree. They kind of have this tree trunk pattern. That one is 68 and the one back there is 65. We have a pair of acorn, acorn, acorn. Isn't acorn like a singer? I don't know. A pair of acorn milk glass pink to aren't those older see the price is making me be like mmm and the condition is really good too seven dollars for the pair of those and then there's these other ones here four dollars with the nice beautiful colors mmm 
Now these lids are replaced, obviously they're, they're chrome plated. I'll have to look at those up close and figure out what I want to do, but even like those are beautiful for what they are. So seven, I'm going to get those as long as there's no like condition issues. Same with those being $4. So I'm going to get both of those most likely. Oh, this is beautiful. Now this is Sasha Braskoff and it's $40 from the 1950s. That's a beautiful bowl. It looks like a bathtub. If you were like little tiny, tiny little person. Oh, now these are good too. They have written on here Murano shell, $22 for that little bowl there. It has kind of all the gold aventurine flex and then 18 for the little one nearby. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted by those, but I don't know. They have the larger jewelry casket for 14 in the Art Nouveau era, that one. And then some of this nice mid-century made in California pottery. Those are good too. But uh, I'll have to get somebody to help me with those two. I like that vase back there too with the Moriyagi on it. Just now noticed it. Has the little handles up there top. That is marked nothing. There's no mark. Okay, so the acorn set, perfect. Buying those. The other set, the kind of the end of day style, that kind of made in Czechoslovakia speckly look, those, that one, one of them, there's a crack. It's structurally fine, but the other shaker, nothing's wrong with it. I'm going to buy them for $4 because I think one shaker, even if I, if you think about just one shaker, that's fine. But now I'm looking at this really cool art deco piece. It says New York. It's $11. The World's Fair piece. I love that. Okay. So I am going to get that other World's Fair piece. And oh my gosh. Yikes. I love, oh, so much of this stuff. Um, the World's Fair piece is marked Japan on the bottom of it. Oh, okay. There is Fenton galore in here. There, oh, there's, oh my gosh. This little red bird. She took my items up front. How much is the red bird, you think? Oh, there's no price on it? No. No, I want that one. The blue bird's 15. They have 75. I mean, that's Fenton. They have 75 on the turtle. The, oh, is that an orange glass elephant for 20? A little bit on the edge for me. I'm, I like it. Um, I should ask about this, the, the red bird, because if that's around $20, I'm getting it. It's just, there's no price on it. See? Oh, that's a, wait, Bur it's the Fenton Burmese, which is the color, but, oh, okay. is it the mouse and the, okay, it's the mouse and the cat, or the cat and the mouse, $2.50, and that's a really pretty, kind of like, it's carnival glass, but it's this koi fish. That one is $62.50. And this, like, ato um, not atomic, this um, Art Deco bullet boudoir lamp is just so, ugh. this is clam broth glass, by the way. So it's kind of like this jadeite, but a little bit opalescent in the nature of it. So they call that clam, clam broth. And there's a nice big piece back there, the 65 for the Viking. Lovely lovely and that blue swung is 135 back there that might be Murano that clown a lot of them are but it's nuanced so I'm not gonna say for sure and that is beautiful too this footed this, with the blue and the purple kind of colors in here the owl is good too I've sold that owl before $85 for that fairy lamp well every antique mall is different this one won't call the vendors if there's not a price on something they just tell them when they see them again so unfortunately we can't get the red bird some I think I would say most of them would call though but that is just the way it goes I think I mean there's a reason because if say I saw something and I took the if I didn't like the price tag I could take it off but if it's in a case you can't really take price tags off that's so that would sort of negate that fear Oh, I really love this. Look at that woman. And I'm not usually into people, let alone a woman, but that looks great because she's just, I don't know what she's doing actually. She's, a plane is coming in and she's bringing it down. 
but I love that is beautiful and this frame is old I love this frame I mean it's there's literally nothing to it but I love <laughs> I'm really easy to play sometimes this is ten dollars I mean I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it for ten it's just it's just adorable I, I should just do it I should be a spark look I've got something in the cart now remember I, I used to not. It used to be an empty cart. I mean, I think you can remember that time whenever it was empty. Those are so pretty. Look, there's two of them. They're burnt orange, mid-century. $125 per chair. And you're not allowed to sit in it unless you're buying it. Have you ever wanted your house to look like an old office? Because that's what you'd get here. Ooh, or you could go sledding down like a slope. Doesn't it have that vibe? Like mid-century ski resort. Let's go for it. I like. Oh, now those are really cool. I actually had a, a whole four set of these chairs. And my set had metal bases, not the wood. And I can't remember for the life of me who did them. But they were so cool. I got them at an auction a long time ago. And I've sold them a long time ago too. Oh, look at that paint my number up there. That's pretty. There's boats on it, like little ships. And they're having a 20% off sale. Ooh, they got boomerangs and starbursts. Oh my. That looks so cool. Doesn't that look like Ikea? I haven't been to Ikea in a long time. Do they have this stuff? It's 225 firm. I feel like if you had some Swedish meatballs on top of it, you would you'd be there at Ikea. Little to Oh, oh, look, look, look. I am not all that dumb. Like that says Ikea. Why does like the idea of Play-Doh? come to mind like I want to mold play-doh on this table forget meatballs play-doh and these chairs really pretty stone I don't know what I would ever do with it but $22 polished sedimentary rock now that would imagine that on your finger like look at the rock on that I mean you would not be able to hold your own arm up that is really pretty though. I like all the texture in here. The colors are amazing. This sort of rosy color and the wide. And the <laughs> so pretty. All right, so I think I did pretty well here. I found a little baggy, little baggy of items. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.